Did this type of slavery ever happen to your people in Korea? Uh, no. I can answer it for you. That has never happened to your people. Who does this fit today? Name the people on the earth. Just say it, black people. Because of the captivities that we've been in as a people. God said, we'll read it again. 
hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, Come on. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. What did God just say? He said out of all the other families of the earth, the Koreans, the Chinese, the, any other nation you can name, out of all the families of the earth, I only chose you. And you broke the commandments. He said you, the reason that the curses don't fall upon them is because God did not choose them. Had they, they had God choose them and they broke the commandments, what would have happened? This would have happened to them. God said what? Read it again. You only have, he said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore, he says, therefore, because I chose you, I will punish you. He going to punish you for all your iniquity. For all of your sins. He can't be punished for a sin that he didn't, that, that wasn't given to him. It's like if I came to your house and you got a note on the refrigerator that said, children, do not go in this refrigerator after 8 o'clock. If I came into your house and I saw the note on the refrigerator, was you talking to me? No, you was talking to your children, right? You told your children not to go in the refrigerator after 8 o'clock. So you ain't talking to me, right? No, but when does redemption come? Oh, that is a great question. Yeah, that is the best that. question yeah. of all. Get us, get, let's get Luke real quick. How long do we talk to our ancestors breaking the commandments? Because it wasn't just your ancestors. It was you, too. It was you, too. In my past. Exactly. Exactly. The reason we're suffering these things is because it just wasn't our ancestors. We did that. It was us breaking those commandments. It's us that has to come back now and keep the commandments. Read that. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Come on. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people uh -huh. and has raised up in horn of salvation. Now, Christ is the horn of salvation. Israel is who the scriptures are talking about. These scriptures, like I said before, they were only given to the children of Israel. So when Christ came, Christ was only dealing with who? The children of Israel. He wasn't dealing with everybody or the whole world like they try to make it seem. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Come on. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ out of his own mouth said, I ain't sent to nobody else but the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why? Because it was the house of Israel that broke God's commandments. That's what we got to understand. Now, give me uh, Matthew 16, 19, 16, right? Because a young man asked Christ the same thing. He said, well, when do we get salvation? When do we get salvation? How do we get salvation? This Bible is a roadmap to salvation. But we can't just say, I'm going to do it how I'm going to do it, and then I'll deal with God when I get there. No, you got to follow the roadmap. Let's see what this young man said. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Read up. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this man wanted to know, how do I get salvation? Right? Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Christ said, Why are you calling me good for? Read. There is none good but one. He, he gave that power in reference to one. Come on. That is God. So is Christ and God the same person? No. He gave that power. He gave that reference to his father. He said, Why thou callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. Come on. But if thou wilt enter into life. But if you want to enter life, you want to get into the kingdom of heaven. Hold on, brother, you about to miss the good part. Don't walk off yet. If you want to enter into the kingdom of heaven, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. Now, we just read earlier, go back to 1 John. We just read earlier that the commandments are not grievous. The way that we get to kingdom of heaven, and we're going to show you when salvation is going to come. The way that we get there and the roadmap to getting there is the keeping of God's commandments. Like today. What is today, according to God? What is today and every Saturday according to God? It is, you said you don't know? That is a great answer. It's good to say that you don't know. Because look, none of them know. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right. Saturday is the Lord's Sabbath day. Go back to Exodus 20 real quick. I want one. Give me one. Go back to Exodus 20 real quick. Today is God's Sabbath day. Every Saturday is God's Sabbath day. Right. We're going to find out what God said about the Sabbath day. Read what you got? The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. Why God had to say remember the Sabbath day? Because you forgot it. I thought it was Sunday. 
No. It is not Sunday. Give it his honor. Give it his honor. Look that up in the look that up in his honor. Sunday is rest. Sunday is no work. No, Sunday is rest day. Yeah, that's the day of rest. Sunday is not rest day. Yeah. Sunday is Sunday is not rest day. What you've been told is that Sunday is rest day. Right. Okay. Just like you were told that you're an African American. Just like you were told you were black. Sunday is not the rest day. I, we're gonna find out. Wait, so I don't follow that. I don't follow that black. black. You, you can't follow black because it ain't nothing to follow in so black. So what am I? What do I call he, myself? He you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That, that is who right. you are. He asked me. That is who you are. He asked me. Hold on. Let me deal with one thing at a time. What are we dealing with? We're dealing, first, we're dealing with Sabbath, right? Yeah. Sabbath day. Read that. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor, thy, nor the stranger that is within thy gates. So, what was that question? What'd you say? You, so we start on Sunday. Look up, uh, everybody got a cell phone? Yeah. Pull your cell phone out. Oh, Pull your cell phone out and pull out your calendar. You can just, just, just use his. He got his. Open your calendar. Open your calendar. Open your calendar. On your calendar, what's the first day of the week? Sunday. Yeah. Read that word again. Seventh day. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. You got six days to labor, do all your work, buy, sell all that in six days. Come on. But the seventh day. But the seventh day. It's the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. And that's the Sabbath. So let's look on the calendar. What's the first day of the week? Sunday. Sunday. Monday. Yeah. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Yeah. Friday. Saturday. Saturday is the seventh day of the week. You were lied to. Give me Daniel. Give me that to Daniel. Give me Daniel real quick. Because we were taught to do church on Sunday. The, we were taught that in slavery. Remember. Everything that we do now was passed down to us in slavery. Constantine, where's that history at? Constantine changed the, the, uh, the Sabbath day from Saturday to Sunday when they came up with that whole Trinity doctrine. All of that, that Sunday worship comes with the Trinity doctrine. What you got? Daniel 7, you read that. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. Listen up. And he shall speak. Great. And he, who is the he? Now, I didn't get to it in Deuteronomy yet, but the he in Deuteronomy makes reference to your enemy who put the chains on your neck, right. which is the so-called white man. Right. Who owns the earth? Who rules the earth? The so-called white man. Right. He owns everything on the earth. It says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High. He gonna speak great words against the Most High. One of the great words that he speak against the Most High today is what? God says there shall be no, uh, you, that mankind should not lie with mankind. Meaning a man shouldn't lie with a man and a woman shouldn't lie with a woman. That's what God said. But today in America, they say, oh, no, forget what God said. You have freedom to do whatever you want to do. And God said what? He shall what? Wow. Speak great words against the Most High. He'll speak great words against the Most High. Come on. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Remember, sister, the saints. You are the saints. Remember, we are the saints. He said that, and he's going to wear out the saints. How did he wear us out? He wore us out in slavery. That's right. He beat it out of you in slavery. He wore us out in slavery. It says that he's going to wear out the saints. Come on. So wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times. He's going to think to change times. And laws. And laws. So now, you just learned that Saturday, that's the seventh day of the week. That's, that's the Lord's Sabbath. Now, I'm going to show you what he, what he think to change times. If I said, when does the next day start? What do you say? Today is today is Saturday. What time does Sunday start? 12 a.m. See that? I See how y'all got the same answer? Gotta be wrong. <laughs> but did God say that? No, what day is, what time I'm gonna show you. <laughs> this is what we this is what we're showing our people. Anyone, any one of them that's any one of them, any one of them. Was, uh, anyone, anyone. The book of Genesis, chapter one and verse nine. Come on. Verse 13. And the evening and the morning were the third day. So God says, in the creation of God making heaven and earth and all things that are in it. He was, on day one, he created, and then at the end of the day, he said, the evening and the morning 
you're the third day. You got a question that. How is the evening and the morning the third day? Meaning, when the, at the end of the day, when you see the sun, you see the sun right now? This is what it's called. This is called what? Midday. The sun is at, the, at, 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 the, at, its, at its pinnacle. That's its highest point. Now the sun is going to start to drop. When the sun is dropping, that is the evening time. When the sun is all the way down and it's dark, that is the morning of the next day, according to God. Now in America, we're not taught that. We're taught that 12 o'clock a.m., 12 o'clock a.m., 1 a.m., that's a new day. Not according to God. Not according to the Bible. The Bible says what? Evening and morning were the first day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day. Now, read what you got. So the, it is. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 13, verse 19. You got 12 hours of light and 12 hours of dark. The dark start at evening. The dark don't start, because think about it. If you thought it, 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 if time started or if 12 hours was from 12 o'clock to the next 12 o'clock, it's already daylight, bro. That's another day. That's a whole nother day. You get it? You get you have 12 hours of light and you have 12 hours of darkness. Read what you got. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 13, verse 19. Come on. And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark, be the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark, come on, before the Sabbath. That was right before the Sabbath. So, then we will use yesterday as an example. Read it again. And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark, so we're going to use this as though we're in Jerusalem. Now, it's beginning to be dark, meaning what? The sun is going down. There's no light. Those 12 hours of day are what? They're gone. God says, what? Read it again. And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark, it began to be dark before the Sabbath. Before the Sabbath, meaning yesterday when it began to be dark, that was right before the Sabbath. So when it became dark, what was it? It was the, it's the Sabbath because it's dark now. When the sun is all the way down, that is a new day. But when we go back to Daniel, Daniel was telling us, God has, has it written in Daniel that our enemies and our oppressors, they would change times, they would change the laws. Like today, we have we have our freedom to do whatever today. But I'm, I'm going to show y'all something. Hey, sisters, how y'all doing? Y'all just walk up. I got a question. You see this big, strong brother right here? What's, what's your name, bro? Cartrez. Huh? Cartrez. Cartrez. Y'all see this big, strong brother Cartrez, right? If Cartrez, this is just an example. If Cartrez was meeting you walking down the street, and he had on a dress. What would you think? He's comfortable. Uh, you would think he's comfortable. You say you would think he's comfortable. You would think what? Gay. Something wrong? Something wrong. Something wrong. He's wearing a dress? Yes. Because why? Because God says that in the pants? scriptures. <laughs> Remember, it ain't about being you. Would you wear a dress? No, because you're not comfortable. A man in a dress is not comfortable. All right, yeah. we're made to believe and they're desensitizing us so that we become, this becomes normal. What, give me that in uh, Judith. You know what I want, Judith. Uh, uh, when, when, when the king wanted to uh, know Judith 5, Judith, give me Judith 5 real quick. Because this is what happens with our people all the time. Now, look at this elderly couple. We've been fighting for equal rights for how long? For centuries, we've been marching Hold our hands up, don't shoot. Have we accomplished the goal yet? No, and we're never going to accomplish the goal because we're trying everything man-made. We have tried nothing according to God. We have Martin Luther King who did a hell of a job trying to get us there. Did a good job, but it didn't get us there. In fact, Martin says, I fear that I have integrated my people into a burning house. That's Why? Right. Because he saw that this is not gonna work. That uh, integration was not gonna work. Why? Because the Bible doesn't say integrate. The Bible says separate. That's right. right. The book of Judas, chapter 5, verse 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. So she had to explain who the people were. Now she's explaining to him how to overtake them. She says, if there be any error, or it says, if there be any error in this people, meaning if they're in the midst of sin, come on. And they sin against their God. As long as we are sinning against our God, come on. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. That is why we are ruined. 
When the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, who are God's chosen people, are in the midst of sin, that is our ruin. Right. We are destroyed as a people. Because God chose the Israelites. Who are you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans? The reason we're on the bottom, the reason we're still fighting here in this country is because we have not come to the one thing that God has called us to, and that is our nationality. Right. We have not yet remembered that we are God's chosen people. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.